Okay, here's the outline for this video about the why behind for the area of a circle, but this video uses calculus. The first explanation is similar to the slices explanation in the previous video about the why behind for the area of a circle, not using calculus, but this explanation in this video uses calculus. Likewise for pipe cleaners. For the slices explanation, you can understand it by using calculus 2. But there's an alternative explanation for part of the slices explanation by using calculus 3. The pipe cleaners explanation just uses calculus 1. Lastly, we have an explanation from just integrating left to right to find the area of a semicircle and doubling that area to find the area of a circle. This explanation uses calculus too. Okay, here are our x and y axes. Here's the unit circle, and now here is theta. Now, what would be this length that I marked in red? Now, based on the definition of radians, which we are using in this explanation, this length would be theta units. Now what about this circle that has a radius of r? This part that I marked in green, that would have a length of r theta units. And so if we had d theta instead of theta, that length that I marked in green would be r d theta units. Here is our circle. Now assume that we have an infinite amount of slices instead of a finite amount. Here's the radius, here's d theta, and this would be r d theta. Now as the circle gets more and more slices, that blue line becomes more and more like a line. And because we have infinite amount of slices, that green section would be considered a triangle. And so that area would be 1 half base times height, or 1 half r d theta r. And so that would be 1 half r squared d theta. And if we want to add up all of these slices to figure out the area of the circle, that would be the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 1 half r squared d theta. Let's now talk about another way to get to that integral. Now assume that we have an infinite amount of rectangles instead of a finite amount. Now we are just focusing on one rectangle, but this applies to all the other rectangles. Let's call all the radii from inside to outside capital R. Let's call the radius of the circle lowercase r. We have to have one of them to be uppercase to distinguish between them. For this video, I chose the format to be uppercase. I have marked this as D capital R because of the change in the radar and each rectangle is infinitesimally small. And this would be capital R D theta based on the definition of radians. As we get more and more of smaller smaller green parts, the green parts become closer and closer to a rectangle. We have an infinite amount of green parts in this example. We consider this green part to be a rectangle. And so the area would be capital R D theta D capital R. And based on a commutative property of multiplication, we get this. And so, if we wanted the area of the whole circle, we would get the integral from 0 to 2 pi of the integral from 0 to lowercase r of uppercase r d uppercase r d theta. Integrating, we get this. And then substitute, and then simplify. Integrating, we get this. And then we substitute and simplify. Here is the radius of the circle. Now, in this video, I'm representing it by lowercase r. Here is the same length over here. And this is a conference of one of the inner circles. Now in this video, to talk about any of the radii from inner to outer, I'm representing it by capital R. And that will be 2 pi capital R, and that is the same length over here. Here's the triangle again, except now it has an infinite amount of parts. Here are the axes, here's capital R, here's lowercase r, one of the values for capital R. Here is the circumference of one of the inner or outer circles, and what will be this line? It will be the circumference of one of the inner or outer circles, so it would be 2 pi times the radius of one of those inner or outer circles. And so the area of this triangle would be integrating from 0 to lowercase r of 2 pi uppercase r d capital R. Then integrate, then substitute, and then simplify, and we get this is the area for the triangle, and therefore the area of the circle. Here are our axes. Here's the circle, it has a radius of r, and so here's r comma zero, zero comma r, negative r comma zero, zero comma negative r. It is centered at the origin, so the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Subtract x squared on both sides, and solve for y. Now this would be the plus, square root, and this would be the minus square root. Here is the area of the semicircle. What is that area? Will it be the integral from negative r to r of the square root of r squared minus x squared dx? And this would have the same area. And so the area of the circle would be equal to 2a1. And 
So the area of the circle will be equal to 2 of the integral from negative r to r of the square root of r squared minus x squared dx. So how do we integrate this? Well, I'm going to be using trigonometric substitution. So here's the right triangle and theta. Let this be x, let this be r, and so by using Pythagorean's theorem, we get this for this side. So sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, or x over r. Let's apply r on both sides. Take the derivative of both sides. And then use the first line again, we get that theta is equal to the arc sine of x over r. So that means that when x is equal to r, theta is equal to the arc sine of r over r, or the arc sine of 1, and that will be pi over 2. When x is equal to negative r, that means that theta is equal to the arc sine of negative r over r, or the arc sine of negative 1, and that will be negative pi over 2. And then we substitute all this in, and then we factor, then we simplify. So we simplify, simplify further, and then use a trigonometric identity. And now we take out the 1 half from inside the integral to outside of it, simplify that part, and then we integrate. And then substitute in, and then simplify, simplify further, and then if you add two of the same thing, that'd be two times that thing. And then simplify, and so we get the area of the circle to be pi r squared. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to, feel free to click on this playlist to watch more similar videos.